The accident happened here on Riverside Drive. It's a no passing zone and the speed limit is 30 miles an hour. The driver involved may have broken both laws, but he did it in a place where police are spread pretty thin. An EPD detective goes door to door on Riverside Drive asking residents for information that could help catch a hit and run driver. Monday night, a van pushed a five year old off his bike and landed him in the hospital with minor injuries. It happened just before 7 p.m. One driver was headed down Riverside Drive when another crossed the center line and passed him, hitting a bicyclist on the other side. Number one, he's a fall for passing a car on a double yellow. I don't know whether he's speeding, he's also a fall for leaving the scene. When they do find him, he needs to get the max, period. Yeah. Neighbors tell me speeding is common here, even after a four-way stop. Though Riverside is a residential street, many use it as a shortcut to busier roads. Just one police officer covers this beat each shift. Is this a location that's ever used with a radar gun? I think every street in town at one point in time, somebody pulls up a radar gun, but you're tying up a person which you may get one to two people out of a three hours that may be going over the speed limit, so you're really not forcing much. Police say enforcement needs to come from vigilant drivers who call in violations, and in this case they say some of the responsibility lies with the parents who let their child out on a bike at night. Bicycles have to obey all traffic laws that a vehicle has to obey. Can a five-year-old do that? Well, if the five-year-old's taught the laws. Detectives won't comment on how close they are to finding this hit-and-run driver. We should note there have only been eight accidents in this area over the past year. That does it for me at News 25. Thanks for having me, Tri-State. It's been a pleasure. Live in Evansville, Jonathan Lee, News 25.